Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We got such a great time at this wonderful game. We just resetted our game again, and we want to show you how to participate in this wonderful airline manager. All right, so let's get started. Here's our nickname, and we'll be air air diggers air. Haha. <laughs> so. I'll be implementing one of my ideas here and we'll see how it goes. Alright, the current stock value right off the you click overview will raise up to 11 cents. So that's where we begin. The current fuel price is very important. So we are at the level 1400 per thousand. Okay. Our capacity is 1 million. We currently have 200,000 pounds. So, let's get started. Let's go to the hangar since we're giving one Boeing 737-800. Okay, it's value 4 million and a parking fee 44,000. So we can... The, my idea that I would like to implement here is that we take this guy... Okay, here's the big sucker. Alright, we take this guy and we sell it. Okay. And then return we'll get four mils. Okay. So now what we wanna do we would like to see all the planes that I hear. And my idea is take the maximum capacity with the minimum price with the maximum range. So I'll be searching through range first just to get inside the price range and see what we can get we get a range but it's only um, what is it 39 passengers not gonna work 19 passengers well it's also not gonna work for me I'm looking something cheap like this with a huge amount of range Preferably with high amount of passengers on board. This is not a bad choice at all, McDonnell Douglas. All right, not bad at all, but I need somewhere around at least 80, maybe 70. So we keep looking on that one, but we keep in mind that it costs 800,000. Okay, what else can we get here for our money? All this limited amount of people. Oh my god. We would like to stay away from big planes. That's my idea. Here's the great choice. 90 passengers. We are going to get four of these guys. Okay. Four of this. So right after we purchase them, they will appear in your hangar. And you will actually see them right here. You all have them. Alright, that's the parking fee. So let's take a look to our staff and see how they do because that's very important. I li I personally like to keep their morale kind of, you know, their spirit up. So I'll give them some freebies here just to increase a bit of it. Okay, and later on we will increase, um, further increasing their salaries as well. So now let's get to our hangar. and take a look at our first plane here. We'll be signing that plane to a certain road and we'll decide what market we would like to expand on. So as we continue to sign our plane, uh, before that I would like to first register them by the number and that's very good common practice in this game. So we just keep in touch. So as you remember I clicked the first plane in the list of my planes here. Since they all the same I have to identify them somehow. So I already renamed number one, number two. This is going to be our number three. Change it, register. It's your confirmation here. Close that window. Pop this again and change to a number four. Alright, just change it. Keep in mind this plane may make it can make 50 to 100 kilometers. So that's a good strategy of getting the right the 
proper let's put it this way uh, route for the plane so I would like to assign number one and all of the following so what I do create my route I select departure anywhere and arrival anywhere but that's in terms if you would like to show the route for any anything that you choose out of the list here so you I'll be going suggesting by distance so it's automatically picks the plane distance and compares to available flight flights here so my plane can make it up to 5200 if you remember and let's take a look by demand because I would like to have demand over 90 percent over 90 percent 90 and above all right so I'll be looking for something like that 97 beautiful Australia Forest Hill United States Hanaria okay the plane ticket 2300 if you lower it another 50 bucks that will get you another one two percent on the demand so you don't really have to lower that price so you may create this route and follow the same route with the same planes but in that case you definitely have to lower the prices and take all of that market and those planes gonna be going back and forth so now let's take a calculator and see how much profit you be making roughly so let's pretend 2300 let's even lower the price 2200 times 90 seats right is that what you have right here 90 seats minus route fee and taxes of 42 grants almost 43 negative 43 and negative another some number going to be negative uh, since we have some gasoline and gas isn't cheap at all so we're looking at around 100 maybe 100 grams something like that and these planes that I'm using are pretty heavy on their <laughs> consumption so now it allows us to assign everything else but we would like to go to the hangar because this is very important guys once you create the route um, oh pardon me uh, we go to the flight sorry once you create that route you have to actually start that route you have to let these guys know like hey it's time time to take off hello let's get the fuck out of here so that's all total income transferred to account so we're already making money up front and this is pretty much it all right let's set up the rest of the planes and see how it goes once we started our flight you can only take a look at the map where that is and here's that kind of a greenish um, you know ocean color dot that's the plane so it's coming from there to Australia so this is how you can track your plane and really really guys don't don't forget to start the flights all right <laughs> okay now you can take a closer look at what's going on with the plane you can do some analysis here and pretty much what's interesting about here there we go that's the part here is the part so we get around we have around 63 passengers on the plane all right that means we have to lower the price but it still shows us that the route is profitable but what I would like you to ma to notice is how much per thousand I believe pounds fuel expenses 500 all right the current price for the fuel is 1100 so what are we really talking about here you know it's really double the price so our expenses double of what you see here so we make a bit less all right so we'll be working on our other flights and see how far we can take it from here all right guys thank you for watching leave your comments below share like subscribe and see ya